Hello, I'm Michael Tyler, and welcome to another free Vectric Project of the Month. This month's project is compatible with Aspire version 10 or above. I call this one the Lakeside Bear Clock, and I got my inspiration just browsing through some of the models that were included with the Aspire software. I spotted this standing bear and a leaping bass, and I thought these two models would be nice uh, to incorporate into a forested lake scene. Eventually, I decided to make the scene as a clock. The story shows a bear standing up by the lake shore with a newly captured bass in its right paw claws and growling in victory. I created the trees and the water and the rocks myself using features in the Aspire software such as the Create Shape tool, the sculpting tools, drawing and note editing tools, and a lot more. This project includes a full set of illustrated PDF instructions you can print out as well as the rest of this video, which leads you through step-by-step step in the process I use to help you create your own lakeside bear cloth. If you do want to have a go at making this yourself, you can download the files from your VNCO account. If you make your own version, please feel free to share that on the Vectric forum and across social media. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for instant updates on new project videos we release. So please enjoy the rest of this video and have fun. Happy carving! Okay, I've got all the parts separated, and what I've done is removed the uh, tabs using some coarse sandpaper with a long sanding block on the bottoms of each of these sections. And also need to remove any stray fuzzies that might interfere with the glue up. How this is gonna go together is I'll glue the front panel and the middle panel together. Once that's dry, then I'll take it over to the spindle sander and sand the inside tabs uh, using the spindle sander for that clock insert and then uh, glue on this back section so once we have that glue up the clock will stand up on its own and it'll have a solid back to it so i'm going to continue to strategically remove uh, some of the tabs that i think i need to before i glue it up i may leave some for after glue up so i can blend in the edges at the same time okay i've got the parts set up for the glue up, remove the fuzzies that might interfere with the glue up, and I'm just uh, coating the surface with some of this tight bond translucent wood glue. I like this glue because it has quick setup properties. The drawback is you do have to work with it quickly as well, because it sets up so fast. 
So I'll just apply glue around this perimeter of the clock insert and along the body here. And we'll spread this out a little bit with a glue brush. Actually, I've got one of these disposable chip brushes. I'm gonna try to spread around the bulk of that with the chip brush. You see I'm brushing from the inside out so I don't bring in any stray, possible stray fuzzies that I fail to catch. drawback of these chip brushes is every now and then you get a, a stray hair. I try to pull them out before I even use the brushes, but sometimes one will just pull out on you. Okay, that's getting to be a pretty good tack right there. Just want to make sure I've got coverage on the edges here, especially where these trees are. Okay, I think that's going to be good enough. Get that stray hair out of here. And we'll lay this front panel on top here. I also want to make sure I get that base even. So I'm going to just let that tack up a little bit and uh, make sure it's lined up and then I'll apply some uh, weight to it uh, and or clamps, just whatever works the best there, just to make sure that gets set up. Well, here's what I came up with to clamp this while the glue's drying. Uh, you see I've got the the back, uh, on the back uh, uh, panel there. It's not glued on though. I've only got this front section and this middle section glued together, but I just use it for uh, helping with alignment and to help it stand up. So I've just put a bunch of spring clamps uh, around the uh, glue up and I'll just let that sit there upright. It's sitting flat on the table just like uh, what it'll be like when it's actually in use. So I'm just going to leave it like that and let the glue dry uh, as it is. Now that the assembly is sanded for the clock insert, I want to line up this back panel with this assembly and just lightly mark the circle location with a pencil so I know where to avoid putting glue. Okay, we'll just uh, put some glue on this back panel here and avoiding that circle area. Get the edge though. And yeah, spread this around a little bit. OK, 
Okay, we'll do the same as before. Just uh, line this up. And I'll let that tack up a little bit and then I'll stand it upright and clamp it like I did before. Once you've got this final sanded, it's time to put on the finish of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and stain mine, and uh, before I do that, I'm going to apply a mixture of Zinsser Seal Coat, which is 100% de-waxed clear shellac and uh, denatured alcohol. It's a 50-50 mix, and I mix it up in this uh, old coffee can, and I'm going to apply liberally over uh, the front and the back, and that'll seal. Uh, the soft grain before I apply the stain. Plus it'll give me the opportunity to uh, sand off any remaining fuzzies that will be stiffened up by the use of this uh, shellac and denatured alcohol mixture. Okay, so I'll apply this overall and come back when I'm all finished. Okay, after the seal coat was dry, I went ahead and lightly sanded it again, and I'm just applying some Rust-Oleum Carrington wood stain. This is the ultimate wood stain, dries in about an hour, depending on the uh, temperature and humidity. So I should be able to apply a clear coat in about an hour or so. So I'll just brush this over the entire surface, front and back, and uh, wipe that off with a rag. Let that dry and then uh, should be ready for uh, final clear coats after that. The stain's all dry, so I'm ready to put on the final clear coats. I'm starting with the back side, so I've just stood it up. And I'll start out with the uh, Krylon Gloss Crystal Clear, and probably follow that up with a Krylon, uh, either a flat or a satin finish. So I'll do this back side first, and probably lay this down on the uh, paint triangles when I uh, do the front side. Until next month, this is Michael Tyler signing off for now. We'll see you next month with another free Vectric Project of the Month. Happy carving!